Hey guys, so today we're going to be going over some of the changes with 9.9.1 .9 and 9.9.0 .9 of VisiLogic. So, with these changes, there's added security to the Ethernet connections to the controller, specifically a set PCOM Ethernet password. This is to prevent um, unauthorized access to your controller over VisiLogic or other programming software by setting a password in the controller. So, uh, we'll go over how to set that up as well as just going over some of the changes here. So, for example, in 9.9.1, .9 one of the changes was the with the Ethernet card. So, before you upgrade your controller, just note if you have the ET1 Ethernet card, you're not going to be able to go to 9.9.1 .9 as it's no longer supported. You'll have to, you can go to 9.9.0, which also includes the security changes, so that is good. Um, so one of the things was a SDW10 you can use to deny some of the changes that can be made over the network here. Uh, let's see. And some of the socket settings have been changed, or all the socket settings have been changed um, to our TCP sockets to be TCP clients. To know that and we'll go over the setup for the set information by password and the set pcom password so the set information by password is now required to be set on startup for both of these versions and so to do that you're going to have to go to the utils drop down and then set information by password here you just link it in the mi here and you just set up a power up value for what you want your password to be. So this is a four character password and it goes up to 9998. And uh, for the value, you're not allowed to use repetitive characters like 1111, the old defaults, or 2222, for example. So we'll have to use something like this 1234 works. And that is good. Set the status. And you're all set if you don't have an Ethernet card installed. You're all set to run the controller. And uh, for 9.9.1, .9 if you do have an Ethernet card installed, you'll have to set the information, uh, sorry, the P set PCOM password. So, set PCOM password function blocks found under the COM dropdown under TCP slash IP. And then set PCOM Ethernet password. So this is a vector, so an 8 to 16 character vector here. So we just link the starting address to this vector. Uh, for example, it would be MI10 for us here, just the next unused. And the status, we're just going to want that to be outside the range of our vector. So it would be 8 characters, and each character, or each MI can contain 2 characters. Um, so 8 to 16. So just eight MIs will be the length. So we'll just use MI19 as the status, just so it's outside the range of our vector. And we'll actually define the vector just in the controller with our string dropdown, string to ASCII function block. We'll do that before our PCOM password. And we just hard code the string here, eight to 16 characters, password works, not recommended. Uh, use a strong 16 character password is most recommended and we'll just link this to our starting vector value mi10 and we're also going to just group this so that we know it's in use so as I said it's going to be eight mi's uh, for the 16 characters and just label this as password and set the number okay and the offset will be zero. Nice and easy. Link these together. This is all you need. So you see here that in our MIs, uh, sorry, I'll just go down to here. I've had to do this once. But uh, you got MI10 as the starting value. It's labeled password one. This goes all the way down to MI17 as our last used. And we've got our status here, which is outside the vector, which is good. And so that's all good. So this will work uh, for setting your PCOM password. And this is all you need so that the controller will run on these versions. So 
If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to sport at unitronics.com. All right, I'm going to save it.